This traditional inspection by Tobacco Control Committee officials, including the Ministry of Health, the National Environment Agency, the Gambia Revenue Authority, and the Drug Law Enforcement Agency, has gave officials the opportunity to gauge the level of compliance on the selling of tobacco products to minors, display of the products at the selling points, as well as the labeling and packaging of tobacco products that comes into the country. Omar Baji is the tobacco focal person at the Ministry of Health. If we look at these tobacco products, some of them are electronic cigarettes, which is completely banned in the country. Uh, some of them are sisa products. Sisa is not banned in the country, but the usage in the public places is banned. And uh, some of them are uh, cigarettes that doesn't uh, conform with the um, graphic health warning and the health messages. As you can see, this is a packet because the packet should be uh, 26. Oh, of course, it is 20. But when you look at the packet, it doesn't have a sick child. And uh, it doesn't have anywhere on the age written sold in the Gambia. So meaning this is a uh, illicit product. It's not meant for the country. Mr. Baji further stated that his ministry and partners will continue to sensitize and monitor the level of implementation of the Tobacco Control Act, speaking on the harmful effects of smoking. Momoru Gasama of the World Health Organization Country Office said tobacco consumption remains a major risk factor, contributing in the rise of NCDs across the world with 8 million related deaths annually. Tobacco and health, they cannot go together. You either go for health, leave tobacco, or you go for tobacco and leave health. That's all. The science has been emerging and is still emerging that tobacco is a killer, those that use the tobacco, half of them die, nearly half of them die if they don't quit. So can you imagine? Companies that manufacture tobacco, they already know this. They, are, they know that they are selling or manufacturing little products. They are legal but lethal. How can somebody who is selling a product and you are compelled to write, to say that this product that I'm selling is killing? Who will do that? Then you must have there must be something strong for you to do that. And that's exactly what is happening. That's why we are seeing smoking kills. Mr. Gasama Forda renewed WHO's commitment to partner with the Ministry of Health and other partners to lessen the burden of smoking on the population. The chairperson of the Tobacco Control Committee, Michael Mendy, said significant progress has been made over the years to reduce the effects of smoking on the people. What we are seeing here can definitely help people understand what actually the need for us uh, to put uh, all hands on deck to make sure that at least uh, we implement what the, is required in the, in the act. Because when I even saw uh, some of these uh, uh, packets here, I never thought of uh, still having packets that are not uh, having the graphic warnings put on the uh, labels. Definitely. You see how necessary it is for everybody, wherever you are, to come out and join the health system and all the partners that are involved in the control. All confiscated products will be disposed of and those found wanting will be dealt with. The briefing climax with a presentation on the finding of the exercise by a senior program officer of the NCD unit at the Ministry of Health, Safe Singate. Reporting for JTS News, I am Sally Jaju.